Tales from 4chan Special, Anon Works IT, Part 2. Day 14, server is still down, my dad's asking questions, everyone is pissed taking early lunch. Over here some guys at the restaurant talking about buying a new modem for the office. Hail Mary dot JPEG. Hey, sorry to bother you during your lunch, but would either of you happen to be IT? Before either of them could read me the riot act and tell me something like, How the fuck dare I? I'm IT too. I show them my hand that I scratched up crawling wire on the floor. They nod. What would you try doing if your server is completely fucked? If you try just starting it. I go back and restart the physical machine. It, it fucking works. Day 15, Hot Cougar walks by office, looking distressed. Everything okay? Oh, good. I can't log into my email. Can you please help me? Please. I gotcha. Get her laptop. Reinstall Microsoft Office. Outlook works again. Poke through her emails to make sure things are working. Send a test file. Read the titles of her latest emails. Divorce. Hand back her laptop. Looks like it, it looks like looks like it's working now. Thanks. Everything okay? Well... This is fucking it. Tell me your sob stories, cougar woman, and then it's on. My mouse is acting a bit funny. Can I get a new one? Day 16. One of the mailroom guy's monitors isn't working. It's coming up all green. Backstory, there's been a huge misappropriation of funds because because I gave him dual monitors just because he's, he's a mentally challenged guy, and I figure if anyone needs two screens, it's him. All he does is look at MSN slideshows and use the FedEx web app or something. He, he's a nice guy, so I actually try and fix it for him. N nothing's working. Th think it's a driver issue. Think it's a setting issue. Think it's, a, think it's an actual hardware issue. Whole time people are coming to me with real problems, but I keep saying, I'll be there in a minute. After two hours, the mailroom guy goes, Maybe your plug is broken? I swapped out the HDMI cable with a brand new one. It, it worked. I officially am less adept at my job than a poor mentally challenged guy. Day 17. Nice old woman who talks to me about sports tells me her keyboard is shit. She's, uh, she's the oldest person in the office by far. Old as dirt. Tell her I have just the thing. Go in the back and unbox a brand new keyboard meant for the programmers. Bring it to the old woman. Oh, you're such a helpful young man. Reach down awkwardly to plug in the new keyboard. Get back up and dust pants off. Old lady looks like she's, she's having a heart attack. Look at the screen, it's, it's fucking blank. On my way back up to my feet, I, I hit the power button. She lost three hours of work. Three hours that old woman will never ever see again. Day 18, company meeting. We're over budget. There's been ridiculous spending. We've lost money for almost a month. Day 18, almost a month, they're going to out me. Um, IT budget comes up in discussion. We are, uh, we are one of the two departments that are coming under budget. Great job, Anon! I heard about the server issues here! You're the man! At the end of the meeting, a 45-year-old events planner asks me if I fix computers on the side. Uh, not really. Oh, I have this one blasted thing that needs fixing. You couldn't just come over and fix it? Bullshit. For a laugh, I say. Yeah, it's cool. Just give me your address and I'll be over after work. Not sure if I'm getting sex. By condom. She's... She's not that hot, like a 6 out of 10 tops. Not even gonna lie, last, last call kinda hot. Arrive at her house, ring the doorbell while standing all suave, leaned up against the door. <laughs> her husband answers the, the, the door, sh shows me the, compu the computer, saw the latest version of Adobe Reader, didn't get $20, go home. Day 19, some guy crashes a program so I have to re-input the settings. Go into his cubicle mate's computer, check settings two hours later. You wrecked my computer. I want my fucking computer back exactly how it was. I don't know what you did, but something's off. My USB drive is buzzing. What the fuck? I didn't do shit to your computer. I checked a program you opened 20 times a day. Super pissed, so I go back into the server room and play Thomas Was Alone. Hear knock on server room door. It's the cubicle mate. Hey, thanks for fixing it. Uh, fixing what? The, the, my USB drive. I, I didn't do shit, lol. Uh, yeah, d d don't mention it. Day 20. I spend entire day cleaning the server room up. Gonna get all nice. Just unplugging network cables willy-nilly so I can color coordinate them. People are losing their shit. They're randomly getting kicked off. Tell people they have... There are some issues with their ISP. Make sure to say ISP, as I have now learned by speaking in abbreviations, no matter how common, makes you sound techie. By the end of the day, the server rack is all classy looking. Fortunately, I never mapped anything and a handful of people can't connect because their ports aren't connected to anything. Tell them the, uh, ISP will have it done ASAP and, and go home. 
Day 21. Now that the server room is all clean, I set up all the test boxes in the back. Eight machines in total all connected to the network. Try joining monitors all together like you see on Cool Threads. You know, like, like the racing ones. Realize these are shit old monitors and you can't do that. Come up with the great idea of Bitcoin mining with these boxes. Set it up for the first half of the day. After lunch, I'm mining terribly, but I'm mining. People start complaining about server lag, blame the lag on the Olympics. Suggest that the whole office must be streaming it. Ban the Olympics on the web filter. Office is divided. Can see the divide in my email. People who are pissed about not being able to watch the Olympics and the keeners who think it's all work and no play at work. I've officially gained power, though. People respect me for making this mandate. He's a real company guy. Day 22. It's birthday day. Office celebrates all the month's birthdays. Take cake. Set up N64 in the boardroom. Challenge people in the office to gold night. Keep saying, Hey, I'm just taking a five-minute break for some cake. Want a quick game? Own the shit out of all of them. Realize I did absolutely nothing all day but eat cake and game. <laughs> no one ever noticed. Day 23. Cougar calls in from the road. She's having trouble accessing a key app for a client on her iPad. She tells me its name. I have no idea what it is. But make sure that sound astute. Ask her if she's using Wi-Fi or 3G. How do I check? Never never mind. Let me let me check for my main core system. Google the apps, but nothing comes up. Ask one of the other salespeople. Oh, it's, it's just an infograph on her main site. Tell the hot cougar to come into my office because it's going to require me to hardcore the changes in. She drives two hours to come to the office so I can open up Safari and bookmark it to her iPad homepage. Day 24. People heard from the 45-year-old events planner, I do house calls. Bunch of idiots are bringing in their home computers, mobile devices, anything technical for me to fix. Tell people I can only do it after hours and I charge $20 for small stuff and $50 for large. Most of it's simple fixes. Windows updates or Adobe Reader installs fix it, but then I get it. The laptop from hell. This fat Indian guy hands me his laptop in a plastic bag. Not a laptop bag, a plastic bag. What's wrong with it? You tell me, genius. Load it up and it's asking for some system restore or something. Just hit next and okay. Fixes it, but it says I need to load check disk. Figure it that has something to do with the CD drive. Open it up. There's a, there's a thick fucking layer of breadcrumbs in the tray. Tilted the machine to its side. Motherfucking breadcrumbs just pouring out of the laptop. Restart the machine. It loads perfectly. Turns out this guy was using it as a tray for his morning bagel. Fucking toaster laptops. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things.